Good morning. Today we're going to talk about how to be a top recruiter. I did a live boot camp like I've been doing for eight years now in the network marketing industry. And I was going through, you know, when, it's interesting being a number one recruiter in network marketing and in your company and enrolling three people a day, up to 500 people a year personally, you don't necessarily understand all the steps to what what I did, I just was doing it. I was just doing the ingredients necessary. And, and being a coach now for the last eight years really gives me an opportunity to know, to really take my time and go, what is the psychology? What are the tangible ingredients to being a top enroller in your network marketing business? And I wanna, I wanna share a few of those today as I'm heading to uh, a real quick appointment here in San Diego. And for those of you that are worried about me doing this and driving, I am not gonna look at the, not gonna look at the, uh, I'd love to see who's all in there right now. I'll look at it later, by the way, which I can do. And I will, uh, I will look at, I will look at all the comments uh, later, just to let you guys know, but I'm not gonna be focusing on that. I wanna get right into that thing. Just like if you're sitting in the car with me, having a conversation. I love what Ray Higdon said, it's like, this is just like we're sitting in the car together right here at my passenger seat. And yeah, once in a while I'll look over at my wife if we're talking or if you were sitting there. But don't worry, I'm focused. I told my wife I'm gonna be very safe. So, uh, good to see you out there, Jen. Although I did take a peek. <laughs> I just felt one of my good besties is on the phone. Uh, one of the most amazing leaders in network marketing. She is going to be going for in the next year the top rank in her company it's Jen Springer by the way she's going for the top rank in her company and she uh, she she's just amazing and I'm looking forward to to having her do that right Jen yes I'm at a, I'm at a light now good to see everybody out there all right let's get let's get rocking and rolling now I'm gonna start with I got about three maybe four quick things I want to share with you today and I'm gonna start with number one which is the least important, okay? It sounds crazy, but it's it's not not that it's not important, it's just not as important. It's it's not as important as as all these other uh, ingredients. Number one, of course, is skill set. That's the the basic aha. In fact, I'm gonna pull over because I'm almost at my appointment. But number one is is skill set. Now, I'm just I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna come back around to skill set. So let's go number uh, number two is having a consistent lead flow. Now, I know you've heard that a million times, but let me break this down of what that means to have a consistent lead flow. Lead flow. Because one of the things that I've, I've taught for years, and I've learned this from uh, my mentor and so many different people, is that you have to have more leads to talk to than you have enough time in the day to ever get back to the leads. Meaning, you, don't, you just don't have enough time to call every single person you have on your prospect list. And this is something that is very difficult to do because what most people do in network marketing, because they just don't understand, because they're new maybe to this industry. You know, network marketing isn't something we've grown up in high school and even if you went to college, they don't, it's, it's, a, it's, such an, it's such a different dynamic. It's so simple, but so many people don't understand. I'm gonna park right here so I can talk with you here looking here I'm at my appointment so so here let's break this down okay because I, I went through this in detail yesterday so having more people to talk to you than you have enough time in the day to talk to those people now for most people this is very hard to do why because you think that you've got to be organized and yes you do but in this stage of having more people to talk to you than you have enough time in the day to talk to them, it's gonna feel unnatural. It's gonna feel uncomfortable. You're gonna be, you're gonna be like, oh, I just, you're gonna have people where you don't even have enough time in the day to get back to them. You're gonna have people that are messaging you or calling you or voicemail, and you're not gonna be able to get back to them. And you're gonna have more follow-ups, more more, you're just gonna be a little bit in that mess stage, that chaotic stage. And normally when people get to that stage, they start to lower the prospecting. They start to go backwards and try to, not maybe not consciously, 
but subconsciously they start trying to make their lead flow, their whether it's warm market or cold market, they start making it smaller so they can manage the prospects that they do have, so they can hold on to those, those prospects that they do have. And that used to be me for so many years until I realized that I've, if I want to be a top enroller, and again, this message is about you being a top enroller, you've got to keep the pipeline completely buried. And also, one way, if you're going to be a top enroller, because if you are a top enroller for just three months or four or five, six months, for sure a year, you're not only a top enroller if you do what I teach, you'll, be, you'll become a top duplicator and a top retainer. What most people do is because they hit their income goal so fast by being a top producer, a top recruiter, they get to 10,000 or 15,000 and they stop because that was their goal. That was more money than they ever thought they would make. So what I've learned to do is don't, don't set, I mean, set an income goal, but more set a recruiting goal. Like you want to recruit, okay, let me give you a number. I'll just say for me, it's 10,000. For the rest of my life, I want to build, and this isn't about me enrolling 10,000 people individually um, from an ego perspective or a income perspective only or a goal or reaching rank. For me, it's a purpose perspective. For the rest of my life, I want to transform people's lives. So I want to build. I've realized that this vehicle can, can, can transform people's lives. So I want to set a ridiculous goal that I know I'll hit because I, I know the numbers of what it takes on a daily basis to hit 10,000 people. Now it may take up to seven plus eight, nine years to do by hitting my goals. And then I just break that down. So, so what does 10,000 people look like? So what this does for me, because I know my own human nature, if I go and do what I did last time, enroll one person a day to three people every day, I most likely will become the number one earner of my company or rear, or a top earner within my company again. And if I go out and enroll three to 500 people again, that's right, that's right, Jen. If I go to, I'll, I'll, I'll address the scam thing. Can you, can you bring it up if I forget, please? If you stick around, I'll address that, okay? But let me keep, let me keep on a zone if that's okay. So I focus on, um, because I know if I hit my goal of, let's say, enrolling three to 500 people in the next year, in the next 12 months, I know I'll be at one of the top earners in my business over 50 to 100,000 a month again. And I'll be like, okay, I'm there. I'm comfortable. And I'll start, I could start slowly stopping again or slowing down again. And again, if my goal is just to make money, if my goal is just to hit top rank, if your goal is just to do that, then yeah. You could slow down, and, and here's what happens in our industry. If you do do that, you become a top enroller. You become a top. Um, yep, this is this is the business of team building. By the way, I'll answer that question real quick, and I'll try to get back on track. This is a business of team building. It's a business where you get to market stuff and build a team to market stuff. So instead of just getting paid on my own personal sales of products and services. For me, it happens to be in the wellness industry, but there's a lot in our niche, the direct marketing. Some people call it network marketing. I call it team building, where I get paid to market stuff and I get paid a lot more when I build a, peep, a, a group of people that market stuff. And that's to me is what we do. I market stuff and I build teams to market stuff. That's a, a short version of network marketing. No, it's not Vima, but Vima is a good company. I have a lot of great friends and I know BK uh, very well. Great, great man. And uh, Pete Sanchez is a good friend of mine, but no, I'm not in Vima. So this is about, uh, so, oh man, I got to get back to my, my, my topic. Then I'll answer questions for those of you that stick around. So make, so don't just set an income goal because I see so many people. I coach people that are six figure earners and even multimillionaires, people making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month over the last year as a top coach. And what's really interesting is so many people get stuck. You can get stuck at a thousand a month. You can get stuck at 10,000 a month. And yes, I know some of you would like, like my clients to get stuck at a hundred grand a month, but you don't just get stuck at a hundred grand a month. 
Because if you stop recruiting and you stop leading by example, your income will either plateau at very best. If you're with a rock solid product, it'll plateau. But most likely, slowly, it will decline. Maybe quickly it will decline, depending on your business model and your company. But it most likely, 90 plus percent chance, it will decline. So you got to get, if you're going to build a home-based business, a network marketing business, my opinion is, my experience is, you've got to, you've got to not just have an income goal, you've got to have a recruiting goal long term and don't think of it as you got to just recruit because that's, you know, mentally that could become taxing. You, I think of it as if I build 10,000 people, if, and again, I'm not saying you have to do something that crazy. In most companies, you don't have to come anywhere close to that to make a million dollars or even six figures for that matter. So don't think that, that, you, that you have to do that. For me, I just want to know what's possible and I, I want to build a team of a million purpose-driven leaders. And I want to I want to transform millions of families' lives around the world. And I want to lead by example. And I know that I can look at you in the eyes as a coach and as a team member, a leader that wants to lead people. I know if I tell you that I'm I've just enrolled two people today, you're not gonna call me up and or talk to me, giving me as many excuses because I'm leading by example every single day. Most leaders, they'll recruit for 90 days or a year, and then they start getting into management mode. So being a top recruiter, getting back to my first point, is you've got to have a consistent flow of leads. And when, when let me just give you this one really important point. To me, it's like if you were to be a real estate investor and you want to build traffic, and you want to get leads coming in. It's kind of like being a real estate investor. If I'm in real estate investing, I would want to get at least one piece of property per day. One, minimum one per day, okay? I mean, I'm sorry, sorry, one per month. I want to get real estate. Now, in network marketing, my goal is to get one piece of media real estate per month. So if I got my warm market cranking, and by the way, you could build, excuse me, you could build a seven figure income. You could build a seven figure income by just warm market. So don't think you have to get into massive traffic sources, but I, we're in 2015. So you want to maximize warm market for sure. You want to build relationships. You want to grow warm markets for sure. You want to get referrals for sure. It's still the fastest, strongest, most solid way to build. But I love the internet too. I love social media. I love generating traffic. I love understanding media. But, so I wanna get my, my warm market going. And then I wanna just keep building multiple channels over time, not today. I don't need to go through 100 internet courses to learn how to generate traffic before I go to work. I need to prospect where I'm planted. I need to prosper where I'm planted. Does that make sense? Meaning. Do the lowest hanging fruit that's going to get you the fastest uh, route to success right now. So many people in 2015, they want to go off learning all the internet stuff before they get going. Another topic though. So I want to get my warm market going and then I might get, and then I might get another traffic sor source going. And again, simplest to start. So what is the simplest sources that you can do? For some of you, it might be your next traffic source might be going out and meeting the millions of people that are around you or the hundreds of people that are around you. I still get names and numbers every single day. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give you an analogy right now. I'm gonna say something I challenged my boot campers from yesterday. And by the way, my website is priorityteam.com. You can get a lot of free training there. It's priority team. Dot com and thank you by the way thank you so much for those uh, the hearts you know it's kind of like applauding when you're when you're at a seminar you can see the the, the cheers um, the, the hearts do the same thing for me it, it's like oh, okay someone someone's digging it a little bit so I really appreciate that by the way so I'm gonna give this analogy if I was to pay each and every one of you right now, $3,333 per day. 
which is one million in annual income right now. Thanks, Jen. By the way, if you're not following um, Jen Springer, she's at rebel underscore health. She's someone uh, who's an amazing trainer and teacher and top earner in her business as well. Um, okay, I gotta get to this point now. So if I was to pay you a million dollars a year, would you? Okay, and I want I want to hear it when I'm finished. I want to see who will actually do this. You have to connect with 40 people a day minimum. Now, this is assuming you you don't have a job, assuming you're full time now. Because if you're getting paid a million a year, most of you can do this full time. So you're full time, okay? And I'm paying, and you're getting paid a million dollars a year now. Would would you for a million dollars a year prospect 40 people per day? Call, text. Uh, connect directly with 40 people, whether it's warm market or cold market, doesn't matter. But you're connecting with minimum of 40 plus people per day, okay? Number one, could you post five to 10 times on social media where you didn't have any fear? You're just speaking from your heart. You're you're being transparent about success in life and showing fun pictures. You're, you're making connections on social media. Could Could you do that? Number three, could you, could you, if you were getting paid a million dollars, would you get three names and numbers per day? Three, out and about. You had to, imagine this, getting paid a million dollars, $3,333 a day to get three names and numbers. How many of you would go, what do I say? You wouldn't, you wouldn't say what you say now, or many, many people say now. You wouldn't say, what do I what do I say to them? Oh man, you'd be like, I'm getting paid 3,000. I'm gonna say something, right? I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna say, hey, I'm an MLM. Here's my card. Uh, can I get yours, right? I'm not saying that's what you say, by the way. But you would say something, right? Um, you'd probably wanna say, build rapport. What gives you the day off? Um, you know, by the way, I, I couldn't help but notice you have great people skills. And you know my company is looking for people that are have good communication skills, and we're expanding in the area. I can't promise you anything, but let me give you my number. So I write it on a piece of paper, or put it in my phone and text him or text it to him. And I'll be like, you know what? I'm really hard to get a hold of. I'm really hard to get a hold of sometimes because of the expansion. What's the best number to reach you at? Great, awesome, and the best time? Awesome, boom, got a name and number. My wife and I, my girlfriend, before she was my wife, 18 years ago, we used to go out every single day and get 10 names and numbers when we were broke, when we literally didn't have enough money for lunch that day. We used to go out and get 10 names and numbers. And again, I'm not saying you have to get 10 names and numbers. I'm not even saying that's your strategy. What I am saying is there's no excuses to building an unlimited pipeline and if I paid you a million dollars a year, would you use this as one of your strategies? The answer is, of course. Would you get three names and numbers? Would you post on social media? Would you connect with 40 plus people per day for $1 million? Now, by seeing who's paying attention right now and who's not watching another scope or doing something else, if I was to pay you a million dollars, would you do that? Would you let me know in the text chat by just typing in yes? For those of you that would do that, as I drink my green, my green drink. By the way, Jen, I'm, yes, awesome. I'm feeling much better today, Jen. Thank you. By the way, Mike, health coach too. She's not only a uh, top network marketer; she's a guru. Ah, oh, what's up, Monty? Barbara, yes, thank you. Tapova, I think that's your name. Awesome. Well, welcome. Of course, you would. But here's the wild thing, and here's the number one ingredient to being a top recruiter. It's not skill, skill's important. It's not lead flow, lead flows and continuous lead flow is important. It's the third one, are you ready? And this is why, and I'm just gonna be real, 90 plus percent people don't make it. It's why 90% of the people don't make it in our industry, but also real estate, also car sales, also small business ownership, also any business that has to do with marketing and sales, period. It is 
doing what I didn't want to do today when I was, when I was, I'm just going to be transparent about something as I wrap this up here in just a few, few minutes. It is, I was really, it's just, when I was just about to do this periscope, I was thinking and analyzing. I'm thinking, oh, the lighting's not good. Oh, I'm not getting a stoplight. I'm not getting a stoplight to be able to hit record so I can at least say hi to a few people. You know what? I've got such a short drive to my appointment. I don't have time to do this periscope. You know what? I forgot my notes. This is all real, by the way. I'm just giving you real stuff. I forgot my notes of what I was sharing in my top three things that helped me be a number one recruiter, enroll over 500 people that led to 40,000 active people. Are you kidding? Hi, Macy. I love you. My little daughter's on my wife's periscope. Are you giving me heart, sweetie? Member, member, double tap, double tap, double tap. So I, what, what, the reason why I almost didn't do this periscope wasn't because I'm not comfortable communicating. It's not because I don't know what to say if I just start doing it. It's because of this. It's because of this. It's because of our human nature of fear, doubt, Oh, what are people going to think? Or man, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it later. I'll do my periscope later. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do it um, at the beach. Oh yeah. I want to get a perfect environment instead of sitting here at the, uh, at the auto, at the auto place where I'm going to get my car tuned up right now. So I'll do it later. That's why so many of you are at the level you're at right now. I, some of the top people that I coach are not six figure earners. They're not seven figure earners. They're people that I listen to on the phone. And as I'm getting to know them, before I get into their excuses, before I get into their thing they need help on, before I get into their challenge, before they get into what I can coach them on, that I, I hear them. So tell me about yourself. Well, I'm this, this, and this, and I'm listening to them. I'm hearing them. I'm, I'm learning about their life and and then uh, and then I'm thinking to myself I'm like oh man they must be millionaires they must be they might be top six figure earners and then I find out they're not at the first rank in their company and I'm thinking they've got great communication skills they've got drive and work ethic they've got a big reason why they got to make their business happen but for whatever reason and it's usually this they're not doing anything how many you know, you know how many of you wonder why so many people join your business and for whatever reason, they don't do anything. They sound sharp. Maybe they look sharp. Not that that matters. They got everything going for them. They have past success, but they get in, they do nothing. It's because they're analyzing, they're fearing, their ego's too big. They have self-entitlement. And I'm telling you, when you rip that apart and you become humble and you truly get a servant heart mentality to be coachable, this business is so simple. Recruiting, when you build on purpose, so simple. And you can do it. I'm telling you, you can do it. I, I'm at a point now of doing this for 20 years. I feel like a kid again. I'm back in the trenches. And I know how hard it was for even me to get going. Not that I didn't know what to do again. Not that I don't know how to build a pipeline. But I'm over analyzing and thinking and wondering and worrying. I do it too, trust me. Top earners, people have done it before. It doesn't mean you could do it again. Sometimes it's better to start fresh with young people than it is trying to get an old dog. Because even though they know what to do, even though they know how to do it, doesn't mean they're going to do it again because of self entitlement or ego or whatever. But I'm ready to do it again. And I want to challenge you to do the same thing. Um, if you want more information about what I do, it's priorityteam.com. And if you want to know, I have a leadership call that I do every Monday morning. Now, it is a spiritual leadership call. Um, it's about Christ-centered leadership. It's Priority Warriors. Priority Warriors. And maybe someone will type it in for me, the two websites. Priority Team, Generic Home Business Training, Network Marketing. Some people call it multi-level. Number two. Christ-centered leadership for network marketers, by the way. Team building on with your purpose and your faith. That's PriorityWarriors.com. All right, I'll stick around. Thank you, beautiful. Thank you. 
Uh, by the way, my wife, beautiful. But thank you to the other person that did that too. Awesome. Hey, um, anybody have any... Thank you for the party. Oh, Stacy, what's up? So honored you're here. She's one of the top social media gurus in the world and uh, coaches. Uh, Stacy, what is your... What is your, can you pop something up there again too so I can tell people to follow you? Yes, Jenna's, Jenna's an amazing, she's an, she's an amazing coach, but I'm learning from her. Stacy Hartman is one of the top social media gals out there. She's someone that my wife and I have reached out to re recently for some social media stuff. And we're going to be working together, Stacy, again real soon. Okay, Stacy Hartman. Okay, any questions, guys? I don't, I'm going to stick around for a few more. Thank you. That makes it a lot simple. So follow her as well. And by the way, if you're new, please follow me. I still haven't figured it out this way. I think it's this way or, anyways, go this or this way. Whoop, go one of these ways, swipe, swipe, and you can follow or go for uh, Android, you can go. Whoop. Any questions or I'm out of here. Someone asked, is this a scam? Or what do you say when people say this is a scam? I remember that question came in too. Thanks, Kim. You bet, Stacy. We love you. All right. Some people say, what do you say when people say this is a scam business? I say, or it's it's illegal pyramid. I go, no, it's not. I don't want to go to jail. You know, our company is, is one of the most solid, reputable companies. That's why people like Donald Trump and Warren Buffett have, have owned or own companies in this industry. Richard Branson, one of the wealthiest billionaires in the world. It's a reputable, solid way to do business. The reason why it gets a bad rap is because 90% of the people that get in overthink about it, overanalyze it, overwonder about it, don't do anything, leave it. And when people leave it, sometimes their ego, they, they didn't succeed because of their ego. And then when they leave, they're mad. And when they're mad, they tell people that it doesn't work, but it does work. It's powerful. There's nothing better. I want to I want to share this thing. Some in business you market products. In traditional business you market a product. Let's say it's essential oils. And I see people at street fairs selling essential oils, let's say. And they sell it at their street fair. It's just them and their 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 company selling it. We're in a business where we get to sell products and rally other people that want to make money to market those products too and we make a small the company pays us a small percentage as an incentive to go out there and getting people to do the same thing it's ridiculous when you think about it that we get paid not just to sell stuff not just to share stuff that we care about but to get a whole bunch of people to do the same thing it's it's just a no-brainer i think it's better than internet marketing by the way too for the masses for sure yeah, a few people can get really successful um, in network in internet marketing, which I love internet marketing too. But I love network marketing because the purity of the model. It's simple and a lot of people can do it. And you can get paid residually, ongoing, when you do it right. Not everybody does it right because they overthink, but you can. Oh man, I, I will tell you this. That's I don't know why you're saying that about the love thing. I've loved money my whole life. That was my God. I've loved success. That was my God more than anything else, but not anymore. My 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 true love is loving Christ, Jesus, and loving my neighbor. And that, I'm not saying I'm perfect at it, but that's my love now is loving people and uh, loving my wife and loving you, even if I don't know you, even if you wanna, even if you wanna trash me or say mean things. I have a different purpose in my life and it's not loving money anymore. It's been hard to transition and it's like an addiction. It's been an addiction for me to be a workaholic. I'm at the most peace learning how to calm down, learning how to just let go and let God truly lead lead my life. So not all Americans love money, but a lot of them do and it usually leads them to striving and stressing out. Yes, that's right. My sister from another, Miss sister from another, I don't know how that goes. All right, guys. God bless you guys. I love you. And I will uh, see you soon. Well, hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, everyone.